Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Whatever it is, your time zone across the world, it is Motivational Wisdom Time. Today, I'm going to educate you so you can grow and lead. A fundamental principle I use in my management consultant services. We're going to start off with a scripture as I always do. Taken from Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. Today, we're going to examine the word season and how it relates to the practical and biblical principles for spiritual growth. In essence, season represents a period of time. A season is defined as its fitness for anything contemplated or done. Proper culture, adapt, cultivate to become mature, to grow fit for use or purpose. In the business world, it is called strategic planning. A key leadership ability to plan short-term and long-term goals based on a vision or mission for successful outcomes and organizational growth. It is your ability to set objectives with a focus on time management to meet your short and long-term goals. The season is a direct connection and strategic planning to adapt or adjust to the signs of the time to reach the goals. Not all seasons are for planning or reaping. In the context of the scripture, King Solomon left on record for all people and leadership the importance of knowing the season of the time to captivate the opportunity when presented. For instance, personally, I call this harnessing the moment. It is the ability to know a positive opportunity and align with set goals for the greater, taking the moment and shifting to the next level. Thought to ponder. Your season has a beginning and end. It is the center nucleus of the season that produces growth if cultivated correctly. At this level, cultivating the season can be direct or indirect contact intervention. What lessons can be learned about season and strategic planning? There are five important lessons. Discovering the truth in this and how. Lessons learned about season and strategic planning. One, this season has a purpose for growth. How will time be managed in align with personal and professional goals? Vision-minded and goal-setter. Two, this season has a beginning, center, and ending. How will I plan for success in goal setting and objectives? Strategic planning for implementation. Three, this season only has 24 hours in a day. How will I prioritize and utilize the time? Time management. What is important for today or what can wait for tomorrow? Four, this season may cause readjustment. How will I personally readjust and transform for the greater in growth? Change management. Five, truth is revealed in the ability of a person to adjust to the season with a purpose-driven mentality for success. Individual sustainability. In closing, know the season you are in. Know when to shift to the next level. Strategically plan for success. It just does not happen. 
Know your experiences will produce growth if you have learned and gained wisdom to make an impact. Know you will have to adjust at times, but don't quit. And know everything in this world is time bound. No one has a monopoly on time but God. Remember, an environment of life is a progressive climate and culture of growth and the current season. Change your environment if needed. Speak life, grow, and lead. You have value. You have purpose. This is Lady Cynthia R. Kelly signing out with Motivational Wisdom. Remember, you have the ability to transform your own self and you are not a product of the environment. Be blessed and stay connected to Jesus and tune in next week for Motivational Wisdom.